we're going to do a, yet another Shaq News Award here uh, for Esports Hero of the Year 2021. And uh, this has gone to individuals uh, most of the time. Uh, I know that there are teams in esports. Certain certain games uh, require more than one individual, but you know sometimes there's an individual that stands out on a team, like in Rocket League or uh, League of Legends or whatever. Uh, so this is open to either teams or individuals this year. Uh, does anyone have a nomination that they'd like to get out there? I do, and I think it's great that we held this. Uh, we're we're coming up on the second week of our deliberations. Mm-hmm. And uh, this probably like wouldn't have hit home as hard if like CEO just happened la- this last week it does of this recording. Yep. And boy howdy, I gotta give it to Alex Jabaley. He brought back public fighting game events in a safe and strong way. Uh, CEO twenty twenty one was freaking incredible. And if you follow that guy on Twitter, he is, like, the most genuinely passionate and, like, strong-willed and, like, just every every failure that he's had, you feel it in his tweets. Every success he's had, you feel it in his tweets. And just, like, to see CEO come together this last weekend and work, and then even the time the times that there were hitches, like somebody pulling a fire alarm or, like, things like that, him working his way through to make sure that doesn't fly was like you can see just how much it meant to him to bring CEO back after it was canceled last year due to the pandemic and I think just like (laughs) there are a few like the fighting game community can be a rowdy bunch of folks and I don't know that (laughs) I don't know that I'd say that they necessarily deserve somebody that's as passionate and hard working and strong willed as Alex Jabaley I would like to nominate a couple, and uh, I guess the first one is uh, Spargo for uh, the Smash scene. And Smash Brothers had a bad esports year last year. There, between the pandemic and between all of the unfortunate allegations, that scene needed a fresh start. And we're seeing a lot of like we're seeing a lot of familiar faces come back, but also we're seeing some new ones. And thank you to my friends at Wide World of Electronic Sports for notifying me that Spargo has been around for a while, but he hasn't been like as prevalent as he's been this year and this is a scene that's needed fresh faces and a new start and Spargo is so much fun to watch that I've really started to get back into the esports scene again and I'm just glad he's there and another one is I want to nominate Slissa from the Hearthstone scene and even before like all the stuff with Activision Blizzard has been happening Slissa noticed something when it comes to the hype cycles of the new expansions and that's that there haven't been a lot of women that were asked to take part in uh, in a lot of the streams and a lot of the deck building uh, events and things like that. Slissa made her case respectfully, went to the right people, and she got that changed. Like, pe- like there are a lot more women that are invited to these events now, and I think a large part of that is because she raised the issues. So, you know, I want to recognize her for that. So, good for you, Slissa. Thanks. Awesome. Um, anyone else with nominations? Uh, I'm going to nominate the Shanghai Dragons. Uh, they won Overwatch League this year. They went from yeah. being the worst team. I know. I knew I was going to get that rough. <laughs> I think they deserve it. I don't think they're going to win, but they they turned it around. Uh, you know, you know <laughs> they, they, uh, they were truly the Cleveland Browns of Overwatch League for several years there. Yeah, they were snatching defeat from the jaws of victory, heartbreaking losses, uh, and just and, being downright terrible a few years. Yeah, uh, you they know, were like and, zero and thirty plus on losses mm-hmm. for a while. Yep. Uh, you know, that's fair. Shanghai Dragons. I think okay. they deserve a little nod. I, 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 I know it's Overwatch League. I know, I know how we feel about. Uh, oh, Overwatch League for the most part, but you know we mm. covered we you know back when we hosted the Wide World of Electronic Sports, we I used to read the 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 standings every week to people. Yeah, I, I was we were probably the most detailed breakdown of the happenings in Overwatch League. 
and uh, yeah, that didn't happen anymore. Uh, you know, that's that's a fine nomination. I have one because uh, I think uh, this would be a first for us for this category. Uh, I want to nominate Team Spirit. Uh, they won the International 10. Uh, they lost in the upper bracket to Invictus Gaming. Uh, they went down to the lower bracket. They beat Fnatic. They beat OG. They beat Virtus Pro. They ended up in the lower bracket, matched up with Invictus again, won that 2-0. They beat Team Secret 2-1. And then they went on to the grand final, and they beat, like, what a lot of a lot of fans of the Dota 2, uh, you know, esports scene view as one of the best uh, PSG LGD. Uh, they beat them uh, in a 3-2 to two, uh, match for the ages, really. It was it was extremely hype. And you're talking about a team that walked away with $18 million from playing video games, guys. Like, that's crazy. Uh, yeah. And yeah, no one saw it coming. It was It was a huge surprise in the scene. Uh, even while, if you were watching it, the commentators were, like, kind of setting everyone up, up for this disappointment that Team Spirit was like... It was like that Cinderella story that you see in, like, the NCAA tournament sometime in basketball. That was kind of Team Spirit this year. And it's not, not to put... Not to say that they hadn't been practicing for a very long time. But, yeah, I just thought that on, out of everything that we saw this year in the esports world, that was the one where I was like, wow, that's really something. And, uh... Yeah, I just think they deserve recognition for that. Yeah, that is, like, quite the take-home, too. And they beat, like, very established esports teams, you know? Yeah. Teams that teams that have been in the scene for a very long time, very well-respected in the Dota scene. And they, it's one of the losers, or they call it the lower bracket. It's one of the lower bracket runs of all time. You know, like, it really is. Uh, we've seen it in the past with MK Leo and Smash or... You know, in a, a lot of different fighting game tournaments, we've seen these massive lower bracket runs. Hell, we just saw that, I think, with Cola at CEO uh, this weekend. But, yeah, I, for me, I, I think Team Spirit is... And I guess we would have to change the title of this award to Esports Heroes of 2021. But, uh, yeah, that's my nomination. Uh, I don't know if anyone else has one. But... Doesn't sound like it. No. Should we vote? Let's do it. Uh, David, who do you want to go with? Team Spirit. Uh, you really sold me on that. That's uh, a really feel good story. I'll go with Team Spirit. And it was it, it was something else. If you're watching it, like they got very emotional at the end. Like these guys, these the Dota pros or any anyone who's playing high level esports, you know yeah. how much time they put in, and it's just cool to see hard work pay off. And like I, I love an underdog story. And I, I really think that's what Team Spirit was this We're year. We're from Northeast Ohio. How can we not? You know? right. uh, yeah, Donovan, who you, who you got? Yeah, I'll go with Team Spirit as well. I love a good narrative, a good story. That's what's cool about esports. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, like, or any sports. Like, just stories are fabricated out of nowhere, just through the spirit of competition or whatever. Like, there's just yeah, yeah. interesting things that pop up. TJ, you gonna stick with your Bailey? with Jabali. Like yeah, it's I mean, amazing to see fighting games come back like in person fighting game events come back on that level and just like the amount of energy in there for all these stories to happen. Like the old the elderly couple that were playing Marvel this weekend. Mm -hmm. That was so that was so Yeah, great. and the whole crowd was was on her side. Like yeah. uh yeah that was pretty great. I think someone was in attendance and it was their grandparents that entered mm -hmm. in the in the bracket. Mm -hmm. uh, which is just awesome. That's the kind of stuff you see at like Evo too, you know. So uh, CEO in in a world where Evo didn't happen this year, really, like an in person Evo didn't happen. CEO yeah. was really a refreshing thing, and I enjoyed that whole weekend. It was, it was so much content; it was impossible to watch it all. So I'm gonna have to go back and watch some vods. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it was great. Ozzy, That's I'm good. gonna say Slissa. Uh, the women of Hearthstone are a really tight knit community, and the way she's rallied them throughout the year, before and after everything going down with Blizzard, to actually change 
their perspective on how they approach esports and non esports events for Hearthstone, that's been inspiring. Mm -hmm. Uh, Bill, who you got? Uh, you sold me with two words of underdog story, so I'm going for team spirit. Seventeen million dollars as well. Eighteen million. That's even better. That's it Talk about forty-three million dollar prize pool for a that's, video game. That's all that's like a, from the fan base too, right? When you like, said, it's, yeah. and it's it's the best model for esports prize pools ever. And they've you... actually put dev effort into making it an enjoyable experience where you can spectate the international in Dota 2. And you have to pay for it, obviously, but that money goes to the prize pool. I think it's also it's... important to note that a lot of esports players don't have, they're not, they don't age. Like, they don't play as long as even like a football player or a hockey player. Like, they're out early. Mm -hmm. And um, that, that's life changing money. So, yeah. like, it's not just a video game. Like, it's actually going to help them with the rest of their lives. I believe one of the winners was talking about buying his family, like, a house. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, just generational wealth being given to some of these players for really hard work and a ton of, yep. a ton of luck, too. Yeah. Uh, Sam, who you got? Um, I think each of these nominations has brought something really incredible to the esports scene. Um, I will have to vote in line with Bill here and go, yeah, Team Spirit, like an underdog story, I love it and yeah, walking away with 18 million is just it's just a mind-boggling amount of money and just the fact that they went through the ladder like that, in the brackets it's just yeah, you I know, sometimes the emotional high that they walked away with yeah, sometimes there's bracket luck in a tournament and you yeah. dodge a really tough player or a team in this case, they really didn't. They had to go against like the old guard uh, a lot of the time in that tournament. It was just it was amazing. Running the gauntlet, man. Like, yeah, that's just. <laughs> yep. Blake, who you got? Bruised, but, but winning. Aww, that's great. Yeah, you know, uh, I'm I'm gonna go with Team Spirit, man. It's like the wizard in real life, almost. <laughs> you know. Almost. Uh, Chris, who you got? We go with TJ here, and you go with Alex Jubaley. Mm -hmm. He's done a lot for uh, the cause, and I also want to see him get dumped on a pile of Legos, covered <laughs> in body oil again. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I and Jubaley had a hell of a year. Uh, you know, he was in a near fatal car accident yeah. about two months before CEO even happened. Um, yeah, I, I like. I think Sam put it really well. All of these nominations, all these nominees deserve recognition for this award. Uh, sadly, there's only going to be one winner here. I'm going to vote for Team Spirit, my nomination, and that's going to put it over the top. But shout out to everyone else, including Spargo. Like, Ozzy, that's not the last we're going to hear of Spargo. In this no, category. not at all. Like, I feel an, like... An, an, MK Leo, uh, an MK Leo student. You know, it's... Mexico is really coming up in Smash right now, Ozzy. Yes, you know, they you are. Got, you have MK Leo, you have Meister, you have Spargo, and there's others. You know, like that uh, scene is very vibrant and strong, and MK Leo is kind of like the elder statesman at this point. And he's so good that, like, we don't even bring him up in this category, even though he's probably the best in the world right now. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's tough, though, Ozzy. This year, it's not as dominant as past years for MK Leo, because. The meta has shifted drastically. It was, I think, this is true of all FGC but, games but, right now. But there's nobody you'd rather have down O2 that you'd like to bet on than than Leo. He's so good at coming back from down O2. Or two, or down one two in game four, right? He's known as yeah. game four Leo. Yes. Uh, yeah. No, I, I agree. It's it's weird that we didn't nominate him, but it's like he wasn't as dominant as he has been in the past. Uh, Tweak got one on him at I believe it was. Uh, God, it was one of these tournaments. Uh, but yeah, like I guess why I didn't necessarily vote for Jabali uh, for the reasons that T TJ nominated him. Other other uh, promoters or other uh, outlets have executed fighting game tournaments in person this year. But but not to that scale. Not to that scale. Mm -hmm. I, I agree with that. But Smash Con was rather large. Riptide was rather large. I think what you know we had mentioned. Uh, Beyond the Summit had done with their invitationals. Not as large, obviously, but also very safe, very well thought out, high quality. I remember the, 
the name of it. But there's a in-person Mortal Kombat tournament this very early too. this year. That's right. Yeah, very, well, very early. But but also Jabali putting on a safe event in Florida, like yeah. the degree Any of difficulty, the degree of difficulty for that goes way up. Yeah. <laughs> no, for sure. That's hard um, mode for sure. Yeah, well, absolutely. And of course, shout out to the Shanghai Dragons. Uh, they they actually won. Good for, good on them. But we got it. We we did this. Our esport heroes of the year 2021 are Team Spirit. It smells like Team Spirit up in here. Sorry, I had. To... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Team Spirit. They come into the grand finals. Two games straight up. They take away from PSG. Game three. And game four. PSG. They hit back. But the game five. Even though they get knocked out in three and four. 